Hello and welcome to my DTD tutorial. In this tutorial, we will go over materials needed, how to tape yourself, and how to mark and cut your DTD. Materials needed will be scissors, coverall painter's suit, duct tape, water, and a broom or pole to rest your arms on. Before starting, make sure to wear comfortable, tight-fitting clothes and have plenty of water available, and then go ahead and jump into your painter's suit. Thank you so much to Mimi for helping me out with this. I always start off with duct tape suspenders. This always helps keep the painter suit in place and make sure that it doesn't warp as you continue to tape. I also recommend taping your ankles and wrists before to make sure your legs don't ride up. When taping, work in pieces and lay them so that they overlap. You want to make sure that you can't see any of the painter's suit under the duct tape. As you tape the front of your duct tape dummy, make sure to cover the zipper completely of the painter's suit. This makes sure the measurement is accurate, and then you'll be able to cut yourself out in the end, so don't worry about that zipper. Make sure to cover your ankles and extra parts of your hands as well. This guarantees that the legs and the arms are long enough. This tutorial is specific for Cosmo cosplay fursuits, so make sure to check with your maker if they have any special instructions. Once you start taping your arms is when the broom comes into play. This helps keep your arms straight and lets it rest a little bit while you get taped. Taping around your neck, 
make sure it lays nicely and is comfortable. This is where your fursuit neck will end. As you finish your duct tape dummy, make sure to mark all of the markings provided on this little cheat sheet. This helps line up patterns and make sure that your DTD is correct. This is another good reason why you don't want to use black duct tape on a DTD. Once your DTD is done, you will want to slowly and carefully begin cutting yourself free. I like to start with my arms, and then once those are free, I begin cutting down the middle so that I can free my upper torso. I then cut down the fronts of my legs and I'm able to slip out. You can then lay your DTD down and carefully tape it back together. This really helps your maker and then everything is nice and together for them to get started on your suit. Thank you so much for following my DTD tutorial and I really hope this helps. Feel free to ask any questions below and I hope you have a great day.